this is my garden, zucchini. I put some poison on the cabbages. This is this poison, it's called seven. Hopefully it will help with saving remaining cabbages. Okay, here I see the caterpillar. Yeah, it looks like it's maybe trying to die out. We'll see. I can reapply more. These ones are destroyed by these cabbages and uh, beets destroyed by groundhogs. I did place traps for family of groundhogs we have there. This is a very nice hill we create. It's a shooting range. And of course, groundhogs like it because it's easier for them to create their burrows. Here I put honey bear trap. It didn't catch anything. I, I, I'm not sure that it can go over. I tried to put stuff around, but so far it didn't work out. This is a life trap. It's been there for five days and nothing happens. I put apple and some cabbage in it. They obviously don't want to go inside. And here I have a trap we placed yesterday. It was a food trap. And as you see, the food trap actually catch. So I have a groundhog here. So groundhog will be executed. I was thinking about executing him by drowning in a lake, but um, I don't want to get bitten because it's a short piece of chain, so you cannot really have him far away from you. So I had to execute him by shooting him with my 22. So he was shoot it in the head. Sometimes people ask me, oh, what do you do with this animal? He was shot in the head and here. And he will uh, be going to the pressure cooker to the dog soup. Hina just ate the tail. Let's see if he want, she wants to have a, a paw, a leg. You want it? Hina. So she got a leg. So this is the body of this uh, woodchuck, groundhog. I will cut it in pieces and I find out the hole, it's a hole in the side. So maybe I shot it yesterday and it was a god shot. I don't know if I shot it yesterday because I think you cannot really survive it. Or maybe he damaged himself while um, fighting in a trap. But it is a hole. But I don't know how he could be alive. So it goes in the soup, in the pressure cooker.